The show really follows characters that are faced with the loneliest parts of themselves. Monsterland is a series of different monster stories that are about really broken people. And through some supernatural force, we're able to become awakened. And All of our characters have gotten to a place where they need help, and that's the way that being human is. And so I've given them monsters to help them move through those roadblocks. We've brought monsters to life that are not altogether monstrous, which is also something that I wanted to do on our show in showing that juxtaposition between good and bad and between horror and beauty. I really love the tall man. He looks like a person until the very end when he takes off his skin. The actor who played tall man is just sort of faking it and still the energy was so, so intense and real and very, very scary. The tall man is a metaphor, a shapeshifter, someone who's able to take off their skin and become a new person. You want to know what this <laughs> is done? Pick one. Later in the season, an oil spill has completely devastated the coastal community. And an injured fisherman makes a discovery. I think that Sharko and the mermaid are able to relate about the loss of identity and the way that that can break a man in half. She's my catch. Whoa, hey, relax, buddy. They found kindred spirits in each other because they have both been made to suffer. Our episodes are lightly connected, and so I wanted to tell a story about mental illness that hopefully someone can say, oh, I see myself in that and feel less alone. This thing that's inside of me, it's mean. All of our characters make their way through a series of choices that are complicated and rich. The show asks us if we can escape who we are or combat our inner monster. It's finding what our monster land monsters want to be because it's not like anything anyone else has ever seen before.